I'm going to be talking about politics. Specifically, Scottish independence is coming up. Now I'm doing one of those things that video makers don't do on YouTube. I'm talking about something serious. I've lived in Scotland for four years, and I'm an Englishman saying that, so I'm what some in the media would view as the enemy. There's something about Scotland that is very dear to me. I have met people who are ludicrously batshit insane and insanely clever all in the same breath. I've developed myself as a person as a consequence to upping my roots and coming to a different country. Whatever argument I try and make on the yes-no debate is going to be moot, partly because I've had a few to drink. The topic of independence isn't as simple as a right or wrong. I have an opinion on it, other people have an opinion on it. That's the problem with the yes-no vote. It's not one camp is evil, one camp is good. It's an ideological issue. Both sides are as valid as the other. I think one of the better things that have come out of this, no matter how people vote, is that if anyone has a strong opinion on what is best for Scotland, it's because they believe that that's what is the best for Scotland, and they have the best intentions for the country at heart, which I think is fantastic. This isn't even Scotch whiskey, it's bourbon. I'm such a pretender, it's insane. On the plus side, it's in a fuck beautiful bottle. This is the point where people who are talking about the Yes No campaign usually go, you should vote this, you should vote that. I am neither qualified nor able to give you enough information to say vote any this particular way. Scotland has a very special place for me in my heart. It's where so many of the best events of my life have occurred. I learnt to fold a shirt in this country. That's huge for me. One of the things that I learnt very early on from coming to Scotland was if you don't like something be the change you want to see. Here is something that I have never told anyone before because I'm a little bit embarrassed by it, but I'm going to for the sake of this argument. A little bit over a year ago now, I ran a society called the Comedy Society in Aberdeen, and it says what it does on the tin, it tells jokes. Two years prior to that, there was a man called Hamish running it, and it was the first year of the society. And I was very judgmental about how it should maybe be run, is it doing well enough for itself? And there was someone I knew who set up sort of a competing comedy society, if you will, and I was a part of that. I disagreed with how the other comedy society was run. But then I realised that all the problems that they were having were happening to our group as well. Through all my ideas of, oh, we'll do better in our own little thing with four people, we'll just go off and do our own little thing. It broke to pieces within four months. What I then did was join back up with the comedy society. Two years later, I ended up running it and I became the change that I wanted to see in the society. So that was one thing that I learned very early on, was that if you want to see something change, don't fight against what you want to see change. Embrace it and work together with the thing that you want to change so that you can help change happen quicker. I've been trying to think of what is the most succinct way that I can summarise how I feel about the independence debate. For some reason, I had this episode of Star Trek running through my head every time I thought about how would I approach this video. For some reason, it kept popping in my head and I couldn't figure out why. And then I realised that there was something in that episode that related so beautifully to what I'm trying to talk about. It's an episode of Star Trek Voyager, one of the less popular but not least popular uh, spin-off series of Star Trek. And it comes from an episode called Year of Hell. The episode centers around the title ships being battered by alien spaceships and it's literally falling to pieces. And it gets to the point where the first officer asks the captain if they should abandon ship. And her rebuttal, I think, summarizes how I feel about Scottish independence. Abandon ship? The answer's no. We're stronger as a team, one crew, one ship. The moment we pull apart, we lose the ability to pool our talents. We become vulnerable. We'll get picked off one by one. Now I say we make our stand together. 